again, if we look at that blood flow coming up and out the aorta, the three tubes on the top of the aortic arch, one, two, three. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, left subclavian. You can see them here, brachiocephalic, left common carotid, and left subclavian. If we turn this around, it might get a little bit more clear of a view. On the right hand side here, brachiocephalic. Brachiocephalic is what splits into our brachium and our cephalic region. So the brachial region is going to be right subclavian artery. It's going under our clavicle out to our brachium or our arm. This one here is going to be right common carotid. That's what you would feel if you checked your pulse in your neck, right common carotid, or you may feel left common carotid on the left side of your neck. And then of course here, left subclavian. The other structure you'll see very clearly here on the posterior side is our descending thoracic aorta. Descending, because it's going down, think of descending a flight of stairs. Thoracic, because this is our thoracic region. Your thoracic vertebrae would be lined up along here. Your thoracic cage, your rib cage, would encircle your lungs, which would be right here. This is the thoracic region. This is why we call this the descending thoracic aorta.